So, same as before, center line, we cut the end off on this board. So we marked the center line, this is four feet long. We've got a center line at two feet and one inch off of each side. Then we've just made a line from there to here. Okay? And that's how we're gonna cut it out.
All right, we got it all carved up here, and uh, you know, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna hit this real quick with some, uh, you know, we've got some little boo-boos here that we put with the clamps, but that won't matter, because we're just gonna paint it anyway, so we'll probably just fill those in. But my main concern is, is I wanna fill this thing in. Oh, excuse me, I wanna, I wanna hit it with some sealer, and uh, I'm just using the cyan acrylate, and, uh, be sealing it with this oh, man. and then we're gonna paint it um, and you guys probably know what painting looks like so I won't bore you with those details but this stuff here let me tell you what you want to be outside it's a poor design on this bottle let me tell you no, we're just gonna we're just gonna cut it and here's what I do all right and you definitely want to be outside hell you might even want to be outside and wearing a respirator do not use a paintbrush yeah I've already balanced this blade so I've showed in a previous video how I do that you might want to check that out basically if after sanding here's my center right here if after sanding you've lost the balance and it's going to one side or the other and then you stick your knife blade you know 64th inches over maybe let's say and uh, if that's on balance then that's where you drill your hole even though it might not be perfectly centered the most important thing is balance and uh, so but yeah this is how it's done you just hit this with a little cyan acrylate and uh, make sure I get every square inch of it might put two coats on stuff is, a, is horrendously toxic. I mean, it's got to be shit just it's gnarly to breathe. But this is how I do it. This part ain't necessary. In fact, it's probably a little extra work, but for this purpose, I just want to hurry up, get this done. These cracks, I just keep filling them until they are full. And uh, let it drink up all she wants in that end grain. And that'll make sure it's good and sealed and the wood won't move around on you. That paint job will last a lot longer too. Okay, now we're on to the other side. Get the tips make sure them are good or saturated especially the end grain you know just like that okay
done deal. Now it's pretty rough, but we're gonna hit it again. But you guys don't need to see all that. You know what to do next. Anyways, there's your center hole. It's got some 120 here. It'll take but a sec. You just keep going over that with layers of CA and sanding it in between until you get the perfect smooth finish. And then uh, paint her up. Get this little crack a little bit more. And boom, there she is. And hit this one again, this one again. It's really important that your wood is dry too. Anyways, there you have it. You know, I kind of did this in response to a, a comment that I got an individual put in that, uh, you know, he had some cogging issues. And uh, so these wider blades will definitely help with the alternators that, um, you know, have permanent magnet cores. Shoot, it's blowing right now and this sucker wants to turn. <laughs> Anyways. We're going to have to get this up on a pole and test it out, but, um, yeah, with the wider cord like that, I think it's probably going to slow it down a little, but that's okay. You got to, if you need to start that, I mean, what good is it if it doesn't spin, right? So, anyways, stay tuned, and uh, we got lots more content coming your way. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. And if you got any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching.